Hey guys, gonna restore some of the stuff. It's um, a new year and I just wanna make sure I clean up all my old wood and stuff. It's been, as you can see, this actually has a lot of uh, wear and tear on this wood because this is, another, this is the restroom and there's actually oak. So I'm gonna basically try to restore this real fast with some uh, either some steel wool or a little bit of um, polish and stuff and get this stuff looking back into a much more deeper looking bathroom because right now my bathroom looks kind of worn. Do this every year so we could make sure it looks good. Um, I'm going to basically use some of this stuff, uh, restore finish and follow the instructions and try to do it. Basically it says let's put on a piece of cloth, shake well I think. Blah 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 blah. Yeah it doesn't even say a shake. Um, but okay. Long story short, I'll shake it anyways to make sure it's all good. I think this is like around five or ten, probably ten bucks or something. I'll probably see if I can find a link below. Uh, but yeah, it's just one step, which is cool. And then you could probably put a sealer on this thing too. Um, yeah, you could, actually you know, you're supposed to put some sort of uh, restore finish, use fine wool for really bad stuff. I don't think it's that bad, but I'm gonna just probably put it on a piece of terry cloth and, and, and basically rub it in. And then afterwards, um, blah, 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 finish the very cover, small area, blah, blah, blah. Feed and wax, period to maintain, as well as the type of wax thing. I don't know, I don't think so. I think this thing works pretty well by itself. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on, let's try it out. <laughs> nice. Big difference here. Before, after. Or after. <laughs> okay, so let's keep on doing this for the whole thing. Very nice. That's really different. So on this side, it's glossy and stuff. This side is dry. So, yeah, much better, but I'm going to probably start working on this top part too. It just totally takes out, you know, makes it shiny again and deeper in color. Very cool. I mentioned it also cleans up a lot of the other stuff. But yeah, I just need a, about a coat of the stuff and a coat or two and basically it cleans up. I think it, what it does it uses and melts some of the, the top part and it makes it look a lot brighter and cleaner. Nice, looks virtually new now. Sweet. But yeah, just a quick coat and stuff. I think you should probably wear gloves. I, I think I should put gloves on too, to be honest, and some safety goggles, but please do so if you're doing this. Because it is like, I should need to fix the spring here. I'll probably have to do a video on that one, but oh well. But yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. As you can see, it just disappears after a while. All the little white, um, the water damage, not water damage, but just, just loses the shine. And just trying to put the oils and stuff back into the wood. It's kind of therapeutic to just start to basically do this and buff it out and buff it in. This is nice. Makes this wood look better, much better than the dry wood it was before. I knock out the top part too. This is in the restroom, so nowadays with all the laminates and everything else, you really don't need to do this because it just breaks, I'm sure. Um, but the laminates will probably last a long time too, but you really can't use this on laminates. Because this basically just melts some of the, um, the finish, I think. But either way, it looks great. It adds a little bit of the oil and makes the old stain looks really good especially in the restroom where 
Uh, steam hits it and it wears it away. It's all good. Just doing some spring cleaning right now. So I want to make my bathroom look good too. Yeah, use it for a much longer time. Don't think I'll ever make sure the landlord's happy that I didn't mess up their place. But it does look a lot better. I did take off the hardware so that we could actually clean that later. As you'll see, it has oxidized. Um, I, when I take showers, I take it pretty steamy. So just want to make sure that I clean up all those rust. I'll probably just put it in some vinegar and just let it work its magic. But otherwise, this stuff is pretty awesome. This is the second year I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple to just re rejuvenate this oak. That's pretty worn. But some areas like this, it probably needs a little bit more. It's already, um, so the, some of the uh, sealant is already, already gone. But I might have to put some, another coat of this stuff on. It's just absorbing it. It's absorbing into the wood. It looks really beautiful now. Um, I think a lot of the modern stuff, you really don't need this anymore uh, because um, it's already, like I said, it's mostly just uh, pre-made stuff. So, anywho, I'm gonna complete this thing. It just takes about one or two rounds of this and it's all clean and it looks new again. But I do this every year. Second year I've done this um, using this stuff. So, it's all good. All good. Okay, that's about it. Nice, it looks renewed, perfect. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and for more um, DIY and home tips and other stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll put this under the DIY section of my YouTube channel. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and all that stuff. I just still need to clean these guys and then just screw them back on and mount them back on, but that's pretty simple stuff. It's no big deal. Anyways, see you next time. Bye-bye.